Paddy Orm, Head of Fitness and Conditioning, thanks for joining us. Paddy, the end of day two. Looks very gruelling out there. How are the guys? How are they coping? Yeah, they've done really well so far. Um, obviously, we've had two double sessions since we've got to Austria. Um, yeah, it's been been tough for them, but I think they've they've coped pretty well so far, and we've got the sort of uh, the physical bits that we wanted to get out of the sessions. Will it get harder? Will it get easier? Yeah, I mean, hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit easier for the lads. Um, we've got a single session tomorrow, give them a little bit of time in the afternoon to be able to uh, to recover and sort of get themselves into a, a better place, ready to go again on, on Thursday with another double session. Some of these shuttle runs look really punishing. What is the aim of, uh, of these kind of runs? Yeah, so this morning we had pretty much a shuttle run, yeah, so a very sort of like, very tough run, and I think it's one of the ones that the lads sort of looked forward to the least. They know it's coming at some point in pre-season, today was that day. Um, but, you know, the, the, the idea of that is that it's getting a few different movements in there, so you're getting maximal accelerations in there, you're getting some high-speed running, you're getting quick change of direction, so all things that we, we know we need to get into the players to make sure they're ready to go in games. Uh, and then this afternoon, it's more of a sort of football-specific type run, if you like, where there's bits of ball work involved, but then there's still that sort of high-intensity work just to make sure that they're working in a similar way to the, what they would in a game, so we can try and replicate that as much as possible to try and get them as fit as we can. The guys who were with us pre-season ahead of last season and the testing that you've done during the season will know what to expect. What about the new guys and also the guys who've come through from the 23s? Are they all coping well? Yeah, I think they've done really well so far. I think um, some of the lads, obviously, it's a bit of a step up for them from being at um, clubs in, in League One and League Two. So I think early doors when we were still back at um, back at home, it, it was quite tough for them. But I think they're starting to get get into a, a better place now where they're able to cope with the sessions better. And and th I think they've they've sort of slipped into the group quite well. Really, they've they've just sort of fit in straight away. Um, the younger lads as well have done really well coming up from the under-23s. I think, you know, for some some of them they've come a little bit later, like they've just joined us the last few days. Um, they've sort of just like fit straight into to the group and, and look part of the group straight away. Obviously, some of the boys started pre-season from day one with us, and they're they're just sort of as comfortable now as the the more senior boys are who've been here for a little little bit longer. I wanted to ask you about the heat. You know, he's hitting you know mid mid thirties. How do you ensure the guys stay hydrated, don't fatigue, don't get injured? Yeah, so we, we've adapted the sessions a little bit. Um, one of the things that we've been quite big on through pre-season in general really is about keeping the right intensity to the training sessions. So we're looking at trying to keep meets per minute as high as we can through the session. That's one of the important factors for us to try and make sure that we're getting the right type of sessions to improve the fitness. Um, we sort of knew that coming here that was going to be quite difficult to do because, because of the heat and the humidity. So we sort of adapted the sessions a little bit, um, tried to give the lads a few more breaks within within games or within different parts of the session. Um, but in, in those breaks, we're basically just trying to get them to get as much as many fluids back on, try and use hydration tablets, cold towels, things like that, just to get get them in the shade for a little bit, just to try and cool them down as much as we can in those short little spells and then getting back in to go again at the same intensity. But to be fair to the lads, I think it's actually surprised me how much they've been able to maintain that intensity, especially considering the, the, the heat and the conditions that they're working in. You're out here for for the double session every day, Paddy. Uh, do you get to enjoy your birthday tonight? <laughs> I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Hopefully I'll get to have a little bit of time later. But yeah, to, uh, back to the hotel for uh, to get through some data and get some reports out so we can have a look at where the, where the lads are ahead of tomorrow first. So yeah, hopefully we'll get to uh, have a bit of downtime later. Thanks for joining us. Cheers, Dave. Thank you.